breathe heavily as I walk into the, the trailer. Because <laughs> I'm out of shape still. That's what I see. So what's the plan today? Work. Oh, oh calm down. I know you like to hold that. Do I? What's, what's the plan with you? You're looking at it. Well, I'm editing tomorrow's video. Cool. And then I guess just wait for you. Yeah. So this morning, I'm going to... I can tell you and the camera, but it's kind of weird because I'm talking to the camera rather than you. I don't know, it's just going to work for about, I think, I think more till about 11.30. I go to work, I come pick you up, and then we go. What? 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 Look at that. Gotta make sure you look good. This one just went to centering, sort of centering. No, I had an appointment. It's, yeah, it's at not the, centering. At the center of birth. <laughs> we went to the birthing center. One might say centering. We had our appointment. It's good. Everything's good. Yeah, you can't run. You can't run. Uh, but we just had one on Friday, so yeah. there wasn't a whole lot that changed from now until then. Still pregnant. Between now and still pregnant. Yeah. We're going to Target because this weather is terrible and he's out of practice tonight. <laughs> so that's what we do. Uh, so. We go to Target. We're on our way home. Rainy. And he's about to drop me off and I'm going to be in the cave for the rest of the night. It's called an RV. Again. So, so. figured this is my outing for the day. I thought I'd take her out. This is like our date. A little, little date night before I have to go off and do some man stuff. Because women can't play drums. <laughs> I'm going to take now. <laughs> Oh yeah. Bye. 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 You gonna get some decaf coffee at Starbucks? Yes. Okay. So I thought that we could finish out this vlog with a little pregnancy update since we did go to uh, the birthing center. We actually went twice last week, or twice in the last week, and then we were at the hospital last Monday. So there have been a lot of checkups going on this week, but I haven't really sat down and given y'all an update on how I'm feeling and how everything is going and how, I guess, just my thoughts um, as we near the end of this, as we're at the end of this pregnancy. I am 38 weeks this week. I measured 38 weeks on Friday. Uh, so I guess I'm getting, I'm like 38 and a half weeks or something. 38 weeks, nine months pregnant obviously super pregnant. Our midwife said that she's pretty much, I mean, she's full term. She's ready to come anytime. So I need to keep an eye out for all of the signs of labor or anything. There's a bun there's a whole list of stuff that they've gone over with us time and time again of when we need to call of signs that something's not right or something or is labor is starting. So there's there's a whole list of things that I have going on in my head at all times. The main one is um, the rule, and I think it's a pretty general rule whether you're going to a birthing center or a hospital, uh, 411 is, is the number that they kind of remind us of, reminded us of over and over again at our, uh, in our centering classes, and that's if your contractions are four minutes apart, lasting one minute each, or longer uh, for an hour. So you have to measure them. So they want to make sure that they're consistent rather than just... I have a minute long contraction and the next one doesn't come till 30 minutes later. As far as I know, I haven't had any yet. I think I've had some of the Braxton Hicks types of contractions, but not anything that is a cause for concern. I really don't know what to expect whenever all this starts. I'm just trying not to, I'm trying not to worry about it. I'm trying not to think about it too much because I know that there's not really much you can do in the moment other than try and stay calm. And that's one of the biggest things is not tensing your body, not freaking out, not getting anxious because that only works against you. We're just kind of playing the waiting game now. I'm definitely trying to be very relatively stress-free. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to do that after last week, but since then I've tried to rest a lot. Um, I'm at home a lot. I'm not driving anywhere. You know, we're, I'm just kind of just waiting. That's that's really what we're doing. Um, I'm trying to move around as much as I can. There's not a whole lot I can do here and the weather has been, we're supposed to be getting more rain this week so it's kind of hard to get outside especially whenever you walk out and there's a thousand mosquitoes surrounding you. It's the beauty of Texas humidity. Workouts, I'm still doing some every now and then. Probably two, maybe three a week which is I think pretty good for this far along in the journey. 
And so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I had that one day of uh, swollen ankles and that was because I stood for way too long in the heat, had too much sodium that day and the day before, not enough water. Uh, so I definitely learned from that and everything's gone down, hasn't come back yet. So we'll see. I don't, you know, there's only a couple weeks left. So I told Matt, even if something does end up swelling, one, it's normal. Uh, I talked to the midwives about it yesterday. It's normal. She said you could even get swollen ankles and they could stay swollen until you have the baby. And she said it would be completely normal. Um, but any sudden swelling with a uh, headache or blurry vision, there's a couple other signs that are a sign of high blood pressure. She said to keep a look at, out for. And I have my blood pressure's been, knock on wood, my blood pressure has been good this whole time. Uh, even after the wreck, it was relatively normal. So that's good. Trying to coast through to the end. I've, I've got my little ball that I'm sitting on that's supposed to help keep her in the right position. Um, she is turned, I think, slightly sideways still. So there's a couple um, exercises that they recommended that I do, including like hip circles on the ball and then a cat-cow exercise where you basically get on all fours and you kind of stretch your back in two different directions. Um, she said that helps basically kind of hanging my belly in a horizontal position helps to turn her to where she needs to be. Um, but even then, she said if she's, you know, they, they still come out <laughs> if they're not in the exact right position. She said it just makes it a little harder for me. So her being optimally turned is, is going to be very beneficial. Yeah, so my energy's been okay. I think I'm pretty sure that she's a little bit lower because I've been able to breathe better in the last week or so. I'm not... I'm winded still I'm you know there's a lot going on down here but uh, I can breathe a little bit better just moving around um, compared to where I was a couple weeks ago so that's been a nice relief and I'm quite honestly looking forward to being not pregnant anymore because I feel like it's been a while especially these last few weeks definitely do drag on and I think it's kind of our way of our body's way of getting us okay with the thought of, of labor and delivery. You know, I'm, I'm just ready to get her out and I'm, I'm ready to meet her is the biggest thing. And it's just crazy to think that any time now, it could be today or it could be in a couple weeks, but we will be meeting her soon and that is crazy. And you guys will be meeting her soon and I'm just so excited. I'm excited and I'm ready. I know that this whole, it, it's, it's a whole new adventure. Um, and it, it's gonna it's gonna change everything, but in the best way possible. And I'm ready to start that new our new life. Essentially, I'm ready to start it. So I'm getting kind of anxious. I'm getting kind of antsy. Just like, all right, when is this gonna happen? I just I'd, I'd like to know, but just gotta wait. Try to stay calm, like I said. Keep my mind occupied, but then also enjoy these last moments of just. I guess as our family of four, me and Matt and the dogs, <laughs> just enjoying these last times as this little unit before it changes and all the quiet time and any downtime, just trying to enjoy it all. So I think that's kind of, kind of the update. There's, you know, it's been a relatively easy, smooth pregnancy. Um, it's definitely getting harder as we go on, but I know that I'm near the end, so it's not a big deal. I just gotta, we just gotta power through to the end and then, get through birth. This shouldn't be hard, right? Um, if you guys have any questions, if anybody has any questions about this pregnancy, I can do a Q&A on my fitness channel. Uh, I won't do it on here, but I'll do it over on my fitness channel, which is linked below. It's just Blue Blurry Fitness on YouTube. Um, I haven't uploaded a video in a while. Not a whole lot as far as fitness updates can go right now, but I will be documenting my postpartum journey, so I'm really excited to share that with you guys over there. But that's it. I'm excited. It's gonna be it's gonna be a really cool year. <laughs>